Hey, what's up, hello? My name is Lindsay. Welcome back to part two for my thrift haul. I went to the bins and decided to film a thrift haul. Mainly, I was looking for plus size dark and twisty items, which is like emo, goth, original Hot Topic, um, grunge, just alternative. And that is in part one. This is just miscellaneous other items I decided to get either to have something from this category in my closet or because it's a good piece or because it's a perfect piece for like my future house because I save up super specific type of items um, or it's for a thrifting gift which I'm having on Sunday and where I basically thrift items that are good gift ideas either for someone specific in my life or for someone else to buy to gift to someone else in their life. So I divided it up into three little categories, so I'm gonna get started. First off, just because Halloween's coming up, I figured it might be good to have like a little Halloween type costume. So this says it's a five, six. Now I live in Michigan, so this would be like a perfect for a Halloween costume because the parent or whatever can put the kid in black pants, most people already have, and like a black long sleeve shirt so it's warm but it's like you know sustainable you already have it so you just have to get this throw it on maybe a hat and you're good to go then i decided to get a cat and jack size 5t it's a jacket it's a lighter weight but it has like fleece on the inside and then the last and it has all these little dinosaurs on it it's super cute and honestly because i'm gonna be an ant come january if some of these pieces don't sell like this um, for a long time, like I'm talking like over a year, then I might just keep it for my niece or nephew. Then I've sold Buffalo by David Bitten before, but I've never sold it in kids clothing. So this is a comfortable skinny mid-rise skinny comfort stretch size eight pair of pants. It has like silver glitter and it's just basic pink. So I decided that because it's bins prices, so average cost of goods for all my stuff is about $1.50 a piece, why not try it? Because it's perfect for experimenting a little bit. I have no current pregnancy things and I was getting a whole bunch of things for my sister-in-law. So I decided to just grab some stuff that's not her size also. So we have Agle Maternity, these are size 12, Jeggings, super basic, jeggings, good condition. So I figured I'd try those. And then I also have, these are a size eight by Liz Lang Maternity. That I figured why not try, it's been prices, you know, whatever. Just basic pair of maternity pants so I feel like those are like perfect items to test out try different things with or to get different categories checked off then I got this piece and I'm 99% sure I'm gonna keep it um, because I'm really big into sustainability and just saving items like that to slowly transition out the items I do have for more sustainable pieces that I really love. So this is a Hannah Anderson. It's 100% organic cotton made in Peru. I'm 99% sure just looking for comps and stuff that this is the pajama top. But it's super comfy, super great sustainable, just long sleeve. So I think I'm going to actually keep this because yes please, I like that. And then I got a really good cabbie sweater. It's a size small, great quality, super thick. And sweater rather is right around the corner. I got a Lucky brand, size small, just basic tank top. Like I know we're getting out of that season, but for good with prices, why not? Made well little eyelet. I feel like this could also be a little edgy if you dressed it up that way. It's a button up. Size small. It's the made well. There, I'll try it. 
I got a size medium altered state, kind of silky um, tube top. Maybe this is a skirt. I'll have to look into that. But it's a super great piece. Then this one, I more of liked how it looked. It's a Maurice's size 2. I feel like this would be really, really cute for fall. Put some like um, calf, like thigh high brown boots with it. Maybe like a cropped cream sweater or turtleneck. Like I just feel like it's a whole vibe. Like that or add like a black hat with like, I don't know. It's a whole, it's a whole vibe. Then I have Hollister size medium, just a basic like pleated skirt. I feel like this could be for my dark and twisty show also just because it's giving me very like Slytherin, like slightly dark academia vibes. So we're going to try that out, even though it's not a piece I will normally get. Then I have a whole laundry basket. So this, I do a thing where I save things for future use for me. So I do future household stuff, like future gifting stuff, um, future someday when I have kids stuff. And this is one of my favorite colors and it's a brand new diaper bag. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. So it's just super cute. Um, it has the straps for like a stroller to hang on there. It has like the back pads um, as like diaper, like a changing pad and all this stuff in all the pockets. Um, and it's like brand spanking new. So I'm like, okay, we are gonna just keep this and try it out. It looks amazing quality. So I got that for future, for future me. Then I got two or a North Face hoodie or not hoodie, sweatshirt. It's, it's a morning, a North Face hat. There we go. And it's just super soft on the inside. And I just figured this might be a good stable piece to have. This I have to look into. Um, I kind of think it is a hat. It's David and Young. Um, I kind of think it's a hat. It has like a like the tie on it. I think you can do like a ponytail or something out there. But it's super amazing quality. But I've also seen stuff like this for like um, extra toilet paper rolls. So like I want to look into it to make sure. But it is like, I wish you could feel it. I mean, you can see it is like amazing quality. So I touched it. I'm like, okay, this is something. I don't know what that something is yet. But I'm going to look into it. Then I got a whole bunch. I got this. It's a little stocking with paw prints on it. I feel like this is really cute. Either I'll list it or keep it for my pup. Who knows? I got a little tapestry. It's just a tie-dye. Fun one. Like the material though is like the biggest reason why I decided to get it because it's like super good quality. Like I love, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I love those pieces that you touch and you just know it is amazing quality. And yes, I got a little hot pad with like stars and moons and bats and cats and witches and pumpkins. And then the other side is just a big pumpkin. Then I love linen. I'm really weird about that. So I got linen and cotton, like anything 100% of either. So this one's cotton, but it's just a basic dish towel for future home. This one, I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna end up reselling, but this is just a basic with popsicles on it. But either way, it's super cute. Then this one is, I believe this one's cotton too. Yep, it's 100% cotton, so this is another, like, Christmas little dish towel. I'm really big into, like, sustainability and all that, so I'm loving that. Then this one, I got a table runner. I didn't think I'd ever be a table runner person, but this is, like, oh my gosh, I love the vibe. I love the quality. This one's 100% cotton. There's, like, two or three very small stains that I'm going to try to get out, but it is just this and the buffalo plaid 
black and white. So I'm going to I'm going to be that person and I'm going to try that cuz I feel like it could be a whole vibe. Plus how I picture my future house. Um imagine like this with like the Halloween decor and then when it comes to winter, like actually like past spooky season, like transition to like the red and white. And then just like have different not characters like reindeer and Santa and pumpkins and like not that but just like the classics like this um I got this little cute cookie cutter and Mickey and it has like a little handle I just it's it's cute okay and it's not like the cheap metal like you can't there's no way you can bend this um I got a whole stack of books for my future niece or nephew because someone donated and they're in good condition. A whole set of like the touch and feel books. Like literally a whole set. So I have, if I were a reindeer, if I were a kitty cat, if I were a penguin, if I were a giraffe, if I were a calf, if I were an owl, if I were a polar bear, and if I were an elephant for my future niece and nephew, which if you can't tell, I am super psyched about. Like I'm trying not to like spoil the heck out of this kid already. And like, it's not even here yet. We don't even know if it's a boy or girl yet because they're not gonna find out till birth, which is super hard. So like that almost enables me to get more of both genders and just be that super pumped aunt, super supportive sister slash sister-in-law. And we're rolling with it. So I have not tried it yet, but I was told at some point that the gold like spine books um, do really, like the little golden books do really well. And I found a whole bunch here. So I found some vintage Cinderella. So we're gonna look into this and try and figure out if it's actually a good steal or not. We have 101 Dalmatians, we have a Pooh Bear, The Grand and Wonderful Day, we have a Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, we have Disney's Mulan, we have Doc McStuffins, we have um, a kind of vintage Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And then we have another Winnie Pooh and the Honey Tree and then Donald Duck's Christmas. So like something I've noticed is if you look at the back, let me find a good one. If you look at the back of the book, you can tell like how, kind of tell how old it is. So like this, when it has like a little kitten and stuff, like my grandma had a book like that. And the elephant, she had that, the very old school, like characters it's really old or like older um looking sorting through them a second um like so then these ones these ones are like I don't know kind of mid because they have some of the older characters but then they have like a witch they have just slightly like newer characters like I feel like this is more like maybe 90s this whole stack here um I feel like this one's 80s just because of the characters like I can obviously look through this um this one is newer for obvious reasons like you can tell not only because it's Doc McStuffins but the back but then this one I gotta check I don't even know if it had it, but it literally says it's 39 cents on it. I don't even know if it will have a date. Yeah, this is 1971. And so this one's like 70s, but it has the older style. So I'm going to look in to how much this would go for like maybe a set because then I know, okay, am I going to try to do this more often or am I just not? Um, I got a Bambi Grows Up because I'm a Disney. I like reading Disney stuff. Like, Disney for kids is, like, it's nostalgic. It is, like, you have to do it. 
Then I have a Frozen 2 Touch and Feel Forest book. I feel like that would be a cute little one for a possible future. Now, I used to do daycare. So I have, um, I don't remember, I think it's like Geoffrey knows how to learn how to dance or something like that with his dancing. So then I found this other one, The Legend of Geoffrey. So I'm like, okay, I'm one of those people. I literally have a tote of books for someday. Mainly, it was mainly from daycare life, but I'm not getting rid of most of these. Then another one, this one I'm definitely keeping for future. The world needs who you were made to be. And it's just super like progressive with like talking about how everyone plays a part in gathering their own supplies to make a craft and doing their own thing and their own spin and how some people are very like methodical and scientific and some of them are creative. Some of us work alone, some work by side by side. Some of us are quiet and like to think things through and others prefer to chit chat. And it's just, it talks about, I guess the more work methodical side of it, like how everyone is different in that sense. I got this movie, um, my dad, before he passed away, he used to love watching it. So I figured I would gift that in the thrifted gift box for one of my brothers. Um, I got the American Hustle. I've never watched it, but it looks kind of hard to tell. There we go. It looks like a whole vibe as Jennifer Lawrence in it. And I mean, just the title, like I hustle, like I love anything that's like the motivational stuff and I've never watched it, never heard of it. So we will, we will see what it's like. We'll see what it's like. Then I got this really, okay. I'm looking in the bins and there's like two huge bins of books, um, which is very not normal for the location I'm at. We have a Goodwill bookstore. So like most of the books get sent there versus the bins, but they must have an overload of books because summer. So I go through the bins and I see this. And it looks really cool, okay? Like just the art, the colors, the vibe. I just, I'm like, okay, grabbing this. I'm gonna see what this is. It's a kid's book. And I open it up and I'm very much an Alice in Wonderland person. Um, and this whole vibe reminds me like Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's a little weird and dark and twisty. Um, like it's bright and early Thursday evening. I woke up and dreamed I was dead. And it has like a clock person. But like the art is just so cool. So I'm like, I need to look into this. And it talks about like, I dressed to go to my funeral towards a simple gala affair. So like you're thinking like, oh my gosh, this is dark. But at the same time, the photos are so unique that it makes me curious. The joyful gust for weeping, even the poor billionaire. And it has like um, a skeleton, a crocodile, like kind of washed out flamingos. Um, billionaire just I think that's like Humpty Dumpty or something that's like, very Alice in Wonderland vibes and then um, basically they like show how they're like celebrating her life and all that but then plot twist she falls in love with a potato so never mind funeral off you know like not doing that she ate potato and then um, they saved potato, but it's just really weird. And it's like, I don't know. I love the art. It's in perfect condition, but literally I showed this on one of my recent live auctions because we like weird things. And, um, the amount of people that went to go and went and bought the book on Amazon right after. It's called, in case you guys want it, Bright and Early Thursday Evening. It's just a weird little book, and I kind of love interesting, unique things. Um, then the last thing I got, which I'm going back and forth on if this is going to be like a niece and nephew thing or a future me thing. We, we will see. But I got a wooden, like this flips up, but it's a wooden nose arc with wooden animals and stuff. And I'm very big on sustainability, so like wood pieces, etc. So I got super excited for that. Um, but yeah, that is my little bins haul part two. So definitely check below for when my next shows are and what I'm doing and a code for $10 off and just all the good stuff down below. 
and I will see you later.